What's up guys, the Strong Boys 19 here and welcome to a new album review and I believe that this is potentially going to be my very last review for reviewing new albums. But for today I'm going to be doing my review on the brand new studio album from Canadian vocalist, metal maestro and producer Devin Townsend entitled Lightwork. Now this is the follow-up to two albums Devin did put out close to a year prior to Lightwork's release of the very confrontational, very avant-garde, experimental mixture of a concept album of The Puzzle and as well as the soother resonating and the soft album of Snuggles. And this album was released through the Inside Out label. This is going to be a video split into two parts, or the review I should say, because I have the 2CD edition of Lightwork, which does contain the companion disc of Nightwork, which I am also going to be talking about in a different video. But for the purpose of Lightwork's identity, I might as well do a review on it. What has been said about Devin Townsend that has not been said already is that I always think that he is one of the greatest musicians of all time and probably one of the other biggest adventurous and very personal expressions of musicians into portraying art into something very uh, eclectic and as poignant and as versatile as ever and releasing so many albums, even some with his former band, the industrial extreme metal giants that were strapping young lad. Devin has released so many albums that he decides to create these wonders into some personal things that he decides to write these themes about on his life, on loads of his albums, which I find him fascinating and unique in a way. And Terrier is my absolute favourite Devin Townsend album that I think is one of the greatest albums of all time. And I do love the other ones like Infinity to the infamous one of Ocean Machine to one of the other really praised ones of Empath and Accelerated Evolution to some underrated favourites of mine like Transcendence to Synchestra. But on here, like on a few albums like the aforementioned Infinity, and as well as with some from Strapping Young Lad, like Alien, for example, Lightwork is one of those albums that Devin decides to make throughout uh, some difficulty, because there were some moments that Devin, creative-wise, uh, has been making this type of music that at some points he would be uh, doubting what this overall product would turn to be, but then he decided to be really attached and be so warm with it. And when it eventually was finished, he felt really positive about it. Lightwork is a very different album into his own continuation on being very adventurous. And throughout the mentality and the chaos of ourselves, broken, desperate and emotionally drained from the pandemic, hence like the whole ideas and concept of the puzzle, which I thought was a great idea, uh, although not always one of my favourite Devin albums that I do respect, by the way, I think Lightwork was released at the right timing and moment here, because there's so many of these occasional moments into these lyrics when it can be very moving and emotional. Devin decides to, you know, comfort us with lyrics that Besides that we've been going through so many of these very hard, tough times in these dark mentalities from the pandemic, we should be here for one another. You are important and loved in this world. Look after yourselves and to really reflect and to overcome. There's a lot of that that, that has been beautifully made surrounding the overall concepts into these lyrics on light work. This album has been produced by a different producer, which can be very rare for a musician like Devin himself to make an album without anyone else being the producer. 
Garth Richardson was chosen to produce this record, who also done albums for other bands like Rage Against the Machine, to Biffy Clyro, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Melvins, etc. But I think his style of production here is absolutely fantastic, as he's done this kind of like a similar vein on production with the whole high compression and the mix in that type of wall of sound type of, of direction, like what Devin has done on a lot of his occasions of making sound into his production techniques, and like other ones involving Brian Wilson and Phil Spector. The opening track of Moon People beautifully sums up the strong beginning onto this sound of this album, and it does have this upbeat and dancey feel to it with a brief amount of chord hits, and Devin's voice onto this track into his falsettos sounded wonderful, and it just doesn't need to have this explosive and this bombastic way to open things up like what he did onto albums like Transcendence and Empath, etc. But Moon People has been one of my favourites because of this, um, this ever-flowing and comforting, gentle vibe that this point of instrumentation does make. And Lightworker is another one that I think has so much of the heart and soul into it. And especially like on the chorus, there's a lot on that power that it was quite theatrical and has a big boost up. It grabs you through the heart and through your eardrums. And Lightworker's own behaviour of this song is kind of similar like on Moon People, but the way Devin sings it is absolutely wonderful. Other tracks, they can be extremely melodic, like on the first two tracks, but I think Lightworker and Moon People really starts this whole album in this easygoing and uh, pacing that you would really follow and discover these new things that Devin decides to achieve. Equinox is one of my favourites on here, and this is a type of composition when it does acquire this other separate feeling into this whole emotion and a separate nature into this progressive feel. And I think what is the biggest difference of this whole album's instrumentation is that you will hear a lot of the consistency on the keyboards. There's loads of these different sound effects and textures that beautifully portrays more on the return of the ambient effect. Sometimes that Devin would add that in a lot of his previous albums, but on here, he really paints this in a wider amount of space. Call of the Void is a huge example of that. And while like onto, as I said a few times now, of Moon People and Lightworker, this does bring in the positivity and the uplifting emotion onto it, but these lyrics is what really grabs me and many onto the other listeners, because it's full of the bravery. This is always one of my other high favourites on this album. It's just as delicate and one of those other uh, greater aspects of making a listener feel involved and connected with what Devin wanted to address in this simple way. And Call of the Void is one of those other masterpieces across this album. When it goes into some of the other tracks, like on Dimensions and Heartbreaker, Heartbreaker being one of the longer tracks on here, these two tracks can be uh, separate into their own styles, changes into a different mood and tone with these textures. They can be expanding, and while it is so eclectic and very ambitious, this is one of those other uh, cleverly arranged um, integrities that Devin wants to be engaged with whatever he wants to make. And I think these two tracks are also strong examples because you do not know what you would expect to hear from somebody like Devin that he can be in this whole creative mindset. Dimensions, as I've mentioned just now, is probably the 
a moodiest type of affair on the instrumentation side of it. And there's a bit more of that return with the distorting sound on the guitars and Devin's vocals into that sound from him. But this is also one of my other favourites on this album. Probably the highlight on this record is Celestial Signals. This is like something that you would hear from Epic Cloud or maybe something from Empath. But it's full of this incredible atmosphere and this amount of dramatic performances. I love the way that these connections and interactions from Devin and these female clean vocals together did connect into this great amount of bliss. And in terms of one of the other phenomenal songs on here, the last track, Children of God, is perfect for this whole experience. The longest composition on this album because this one does have this giant amount of space, tons of the reverb inducing textures, these keyboards. This has like the angelic, huge climax. Children of God is always one of my favorites on this album as well. It is on this very open, not really complex, but very multi layered giant piece because you would feel like you're surrounded with something just as sublime and irresistible because of the way it just grabs you in such a way that it, it has like a separate journey to behold. One of those other uh, optimistic and longing sounds of compositions that this is Probably one of those other tracks that you will just never want to to be away from because I cannot get a hold of this track. As much as I love a lot of the other ones onto this album, Children of God is perfection into these many different occasions on what I was listening to as I was focusing on this album. Devin's vocals throughout Light Work has aged incredibly well. His intensifying highest screams and distortions to this big exploration of his, from falsetto to operatic, beautiful cleans, it's the best of both worlds. And I cannot really get a hold of this one because Devin's always been so big into his own masterful and musical presence, what Devin wants to make. This is something of a great product that has to be desired. And Lightwork is probably one of his poppiest albums, but with this emotional purpose. And it all works right from the, the beginning to the end. And it is one of my favourite albums of the year. That's personally all I would like to say about Lightwork by Devin Townsend. Let me know what you think of this album in the comments down below. Do you think this is one of your favourite albums? Is this one of the best albums of the year? Is it the best album in ages that he has done or one of the best? I am very interested. I'm going to give Lightwork by Devin Townsend a 9 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching and I'll keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future.